In this video, I'm going through a list of items that I've compiled after years of building in Stormworks for things that I think should be implemented into the building process in Stormworks 2 or as an update in the current Stormworks game. So come along as we go through this list and hopefully you guys enjoy. The first item on my list is the very first thing that I ever tried to build in Stormworks, which is a simple rowboat or just open top boat. Kind of like what you see here. But the reason it didn't work is because the game like needs uh, filled in spaces, to like air voids to float. It doesn't use buoyancy in a natural sense that this is a closed off compartment, just like this and this. So these are closed compartments and the logic would be that as long as there's no water inside them, like inside the void, it'll float. So as a demonstration, you see this one is floating even though the top's open, but now the top fills and it sinks. And likewise with the right hand boat over there, once it starts to fill with water, it sinks. But you see here, the water actually kind of goes right through the walls. Now I do get that the game developers use things like this cube that has a hollow empty space for uh, big ships and stuff that obviously makes sense. But it would be really cool if they implemented kind of smaller boat creation where you could almost do stuff like this. Now the interesting thing is they already have this type of uh, interface because what we just saw here is I was using this uh, door frame and I just created a door with an open, like, it was open to the top. And once the water tipped it in such a way, it started to fill. And see, they even have this here. But um, the way the game is right now, and obviously I do understand that the developers aren't focusing on kind of micro builds, but it is interesting that things like this can work properly and even this because it's super light but it kind of just dances around like I just have one weight on the bottom and it dances around because it's not very stable at all whereas this doesn't and it just sinks now my thought came when I was building this boat more or less because I thought okay like it has this little lip right here that you see and water is just kind of floating around in this thing which fair enough like in a real boat you'd have just a little pocket hole uh, for the water to kind of come out. But it creates a big problem with this opening because if you leave it open, it starts to flood right away. Even if there's kind of this little lip here and even if there's, it's a elevated thing. So it would be interesting to see if they could kind of limit the water's interaction with things like this. Maybe we just have to define it like you just have to go around with kind of how we use that door thing and you just define like a almost a ghost frame around this and then it would treat it as its own thing with bilge pumps or whatever like an enclosed area but i, I don't know i mean i'm just ballparking i ballpark listing ideas here but it would be maybe interesting for them to kind of look into in more detail and this is the first one I could think of because I'll, like, I, until I found out that things were, until they're closed off with a door at least, or just fully closed off, they can't, that's where water doesn't get in. Otherwise it just kind of floats around everywhere. The second thing I found was more like a bug with certain types of things like the doors and the tank turret. Like you have here this uh, turret ring. So I found that the door specifically, even though this is a fully enclosed area, as you see here, like we've, we've enclosed it, we've put a door on top, we've put this. Um, so the re where I tried to do this was I tried to make a mini sub that had the whole top hatch open up, like one of those really modern ones with full glass on the top and the body on the bottom, and it, the way you get in is the whole glass portion opens up like a dome. Except when I tried to to do it, this is the glitch I found. And I'm just gonna use the uh, debug tool to spawn myself in here. 
hopefully not tip it. So, I guess we've, oh, we're through the wall. There we go, we're inside. So check this out. This is a glitch I found. You're in here and you're dry. Like I'm not with the water at all. But if I stand up here, the water just goes right through that door interface because it's not meant to serve as something like this. But I thought it would be really neat to enable little the door itself to have kind of a pocket nook or something. I mean, anyways, this is a glitch. This isn't a physics, but it'd be really cool if they fix this because I had some really nice ideas for like a really small mini sub that doesn't have a hatch, but just has something like this as the viewing bubble as well. So that's my item number two that I think would be cool for them to fix in a future generation of Stormworks. On to the next. This is item three and four. We're first going to cover item three, which I'd really find it neat if they had a manual rowing feature. Now it doesn't have to be perfect, like it doesn't, ha but it would be nice to have manual propulsion, especially for um, vessels that have like lifeboats or something so you can get places. I did it here, if you're familiar with my creations, which it's a rowboat, meaning there's no, uh, oh, it's a rowboat, so you have to just crank this and it, it uses the, um, a gearbox and makes this propeller spin and then you could turn left and right. It, th these buttons work even without any battery power and they just um, turn the rudder. Actually, no, you produce your own battery power, so there we are turning. But that's just not kind of what I had in mind. Just because something like this would really let you kind of master that non-digital or non-electric type of interface and maybe they would just be simple like pivot points that you can put and they row and they could you do so without bat without power but it would be neat especially with small builds or like imagine a massive viking type ship where you have bunch of rowers whether it's just automated like rowing features i mean like you're just pressing a button and all the all the rows are rowing but regardless it'd be pretty cool the next item on my list like i said item three and four would be that if a bench seat like this could have controls and obviously there's constraints like it's nice to have uh the large chairs or seats that have all the controls especially so you don't start building really funky things with such a small seat. My, my suggestion would, would be to make it three wide. So it'd be the size of one of these seats and it'd maybe have like a little back plate or something. And the advantage or the disadvantage of using it would be, well, really none. I mean, you, you could use it if you want. I, um, the same way the seats themselves have the same type of uh, height restriction. So really, I don't see why they couldn't implement that um other than obviously adding too many things but it would be nice for example for sea dews for snowmobiles for motorcycles and just for the boat a boat like this to have a seat that could also control simple things maybe you make it so it can't control everything like maybe it's only um the wasd for example and you're stuck with it like it's a small seat so you only can do very simple controls and not have like the one two three four hotkeys or whatever that would be maybe uh like the downside of using it it wouldn't have all this stuff just the first two i don't know but regardless that'd be cool to put and would help a lot with a lot of creations i think now this game is all about creation and coming up with new cool things and designs so in the case of this ROV that I'm showing you here, I actually have an even smaller version. Or two smaller versions rather, down to this tiny size, which is perfect for deploying off a smaller vessel, so it's really nice to have ROVs that go underwater. But I wish they were ha they had um, propellers like this for drones, for air drones. And th the physics and logic is all there. You just have something like this and maybe it'd be a little wider so rather than this one that's uh 
only um like if you take a look here technically it's only one block in size the end propeller piece maybe this one would be like that plus there and then you'd put your engine or your your electric motor here or even here would be nicer but regardless it would be cool to make a drone the size of about this rov that you could use like throw like with the with uh your boat or whatever car to launch it and i mean the point it could fire missiles if if you want to be like kind of an armed type service or it just uh is used for research or for finding survivors or something so i think that'd be really cool to put into the game um obviously put a weight restriction like make it so weak that it can't lift things up that are so heavy and i'm sure people are going to make like a massive plane or helicopter with like a hundred or two hundred of these tiny little propellers but i guess that's the fun part of the game like if you want to do something you can so yeah this propeller only works with or only works underwater but it'd be really nice to have a version that worked on land and in the air so that's my next item on the list pardon me i meant that is this current item now on to the next Something that I found super intriguing since I started playing Stormworks was this rope logic and that y you can have ropes kind of tied around the place and they have their own self weight like they sag a little bit you could rope pull on them and they kind of get affected by wind and stuff and I thought why couldn't that be used to create sails so to create sails you just have a special anchor type rather than a rope anchor it would just be called a sail anchor and the only way it works is if you make a triangle or maybe another shape like a square or something but let's just say triangle so by connecting these like you see here this would spawn a mesh in the middle of this that gets affected by wind that gets pulled and all that stuff now this boat is obviously too uh top heavy but regardless the idea is that you would end up with a fabric that you could walk through same as a rope like it's not going to get affected or torn or whatever so they already have most of the physics behind it but it would let you put make wind powered vessels where they're fully powered by wind and then you just have a pivot down here that rotates this and whatever tightens them and stuff but th th I mean that you could take this to the next level like you could have these ones also have their own logic the the, the anchors for the sail where you could like pull the sail out so you make so like if you're taking it down in theory like so there's no sail or you rev it up to so zero would be no sail and one would be like a full sail and then everything in between would be like if it's some kind of sagging or not fully taut so you go slower but again like i said most of the physics is there it would be really cool to see kind of more naturally powered um or wind powered creations As I mentioned a few times, I'm an engineer and I work in the oil sands and mining and that type of thing. So one of the things that I was so excited for when they came up with this coal uh, update and the mining update is because I work on a lot of that type of stuff. Like I went to a coal mining facility up north and they had huge conveyor systems. Like I'm talking like probably 10 miles or so and many of them some going up towers and all sorts of stuff so with that i just think it's a missed opportunity especially for me because i like conveyors to not have a simple conveyor system that you could use instead of the hoppers it would transfer the material to and from hoppers and just serve with little like wheels or bogies and or rollers whatever like there's many names but it would be a conveyor belt like this that would actually have rubber going over it and you'd have the rollers and you'd have um the belt moving and it would be able to move and deposit the material either into a truck or into a system so right now like we have a duct which is pretty much like a conveyor i mean it transfers material through it which is fine but 
regardless, I mean, I, I, I would lo have loved to see an open conveyor belt where you could just make like a massive piece of equipment like a ship loader or um, this, uh, this type of uh, stack or reclaimer or something and have the coal or other mined material just flowing through it. So I know there's ways to kind of replicate it. I'm aware of that, but it would be nice to actually be able to make it and have it useful in that kind of way and have the combination of these things be used, especially because then you could load up on material like for, for the ships and stuff like that. And it just opens up a whole new array of equipment that you could build that are not in the game currently. So that was my item number seven. Item eight's a number, another simple one because they already have all the physics and all the capability of it already in the game. And all it is, is the fact that when you have an instrument panel like this, you could switch between a toggle and a push button. But when you have a thing like this, you can't switch easily between a toggle and push. And there's something to be said about how annoying it is if you make like a button toggle, you put everything on it, and then you realize like, oh man, it'd be the microcontroller would work better if it was a push, then you have to change it. Not a big deal, I mean, it takes two minutes, but they have it for these instrument panels, and it would be nice if they could have it just for the buttons, like have an updated button. And then especially if they could make this button have the different types of um, arrow features, so kind of like you have here, so that you could just differentiate and not have them all kind of dumb square buttons, but have some of the arrows. Uh, just differentiate between things if you have a control panel with a bunch of the old style buttons. That's why I prefer using the instrument panels, they're just cleaner, but when you do use the big ones, that would be for sure nice. Number nine is just practicality. I wish that they had a way for you to remove all the nodes of a certain thing. Like, for example, you see this boat here with all this electrical stuff. It would be nice if you could like remove a chain of them. So instead of having to follow and see where your electrical problem is, like how I'm tracing it now, and you see if like maybe you've connected this accidentally and that's causing all your grief, it would be really nice to either press a button and it highlights the whole system or it goes into a separate screen where you just see only what's connected to this chain. So like they do this in the structural software all the time where you have different layers and it shows it. So like how we see this screen, but imagine if I select this and I press whatever a button and all of a sudden everything else kind of just goes away and it only shows the items connected to that path. So then I'd be able to see like, oh no, that um, electro connector for sure shouldn't be part of this path. And then you could kind of trace to see where the, where it glitched out or where you made a mistake. And likewise, it'd be nice to have a quick delete of all electrical. Like how you see this boat, especially in my older creations, I guess this is one of my older creations. See how I had all the wiring, like all my lights were on one circuit but the, they were kind of like connected how you'd connect a house wiring. Like I've, when I was uh, building my shed, I wired electrical in and you have kind of a parallel or a circuit like this, not parallel, but kind of like going in a different um, sequence, I guess is the way to call it, sequence. So you'd wire things in like this, especially if they're on the same circuit. Now the downside being if you, um, in this game, you don't have to do that. Everything, all the lights could individually be connected. And that's what I've started doing in my new vessels. So much easier to retrofit. Like I was able to uh, retrofit the allegory a couple times because of this. Whereas when I was making the um, Adria into the Dante, it was a nightmare. I had everything all over the place. I had to trace things to make sure I wasn't missing something. So just saw uh, that would be a big time saver for any type of retrofitting you see this helicopter is my new style so i really only have two circuits and everything's on it whereas the boat's just all over the place and i learned my lesson because of this but it was still like just could be much easier 
I'm gonna end off on the simplest thing that they could probably fix very fast if it was brought to their attention or if they wanted to. I don't know if it has or if anyone else has reported it, but this is something that just drives me crazy when I try to hide my microcontrollers like this and embed them within the hull. Watch this. So if I delete this one, if it's something you've created, like how I've created this reverse for the water jet, you can place it like that, no problem. You can do it all day long and it just pairs up. But if you try to take one of their pre-built ones, like this blinker, does not want to work and cannot connect. So what you then have to do is do something funky, like what I always do is, I mean, it's just stupidity, but anyways, you do something like this and you go down and have to delete it for no reason. They're the same thing and they uh, just would speed up the building process. I mean, they're both microcontrollers. There's no reason you shouldn't be able to either do this with none or do them with both, but not have it different. I'm guessing they were released at different times and they just never went back and changed it. But regardless, it's enough that I've added it as item number 10 on my list. The order is arbitrary. There's no one that's more important than the others. It's just little things that I've noticed as I was, um, as I was playing this game, things that I was like, oh man, that'd be sweet if they did it for like Stormworks 2 or whatever. And no, just note that this is all building items. It's all related to just building. I have another list of things that I would think would be really cool for the gameplay, as well as other call it expansion packs or DLCs that they could make. But this is just the building side of things that I think would work out really nicely in the game. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you stay tuned for more and uh, happy stormworksing everyone.